welcome to this unit of the writing module and we are going to talk a little more about how to write a good pressy we have already seen that a good pressy demands that all that has been said by way of content must also be there in the rewritten version in the pressy it also demands that the rewritten version should have no more than one third of the words in the original passage a challenge here is how we do that how we manage language such that we do the pressy in about one third of the original size let's look at it as i said earlier you know if you are proficient in language it should not be difficult at all actually you know uh, you have to use your own sense of language to understand what is being said and that then say that in a very economical manner next so number 1 you must read the no matter what there is no substitute for hard work you know patient work so read the given passage the passage that you have to make a pressy of must be read very carefully okay so here for instance here is a paragraph and we have read it let's make the important points that come out of it go to the next these are the points number 1 sovereignty of the present generation number 2 present generation has become solely concerned with the present and then you know it's the menacing power of this concern next the given passage has about for has 49 words that paragraph and we have to rewrite that paragraph in about 16 17 you know ideally in about 16 words could be 17 could be 15 but no more no less okay so what do we do we we remove redundant words next we use one word for many words you can do that at the present time can we replace no presently okay we'll give you examples then you know rewrite in indirect speech changing all pronouns into third person have seeking tense agreement etc etc you change a lot of pronouns except you know i mean everything has to come into third person not first not second except that you cannot change the gender and the number so for example you know we can become they you and i you sorry you can we can become they you and i can become he she or it or they depending upon number and gender next all illustrations and examples or long lists of names and particulars need not be there in the same way in the pressy you can give fewer examples you can make the list shorter and you can achieve the target of saying the same thing in one third of the original words but there is a constraint these sentences rewritten sentences must not hang aloof away from one another like you know sentences next to unconnected bullet points no they must make a coherent paragraph you know using lots of cohesive devices so that one sentence follows from another and one sentence leads to another they are connected you know not random jerky reading therefore is 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 quite likely that the rewritten passage may have words of not all i say but they may have wherever necessary words like also besides but 
hands henceforth otherwise if so therefore thus you know many others according to need according to context but as far as possible try to control their number they should not be there for their own sake these discourse markers these connectors should be there only when they would make the passage easier to read that is the principle go on numbers you know it is better to use numerals when you have a double digit or a longer number single digit it doesn't matter whether you write six or you write the numeral 6 it is only one word but when you write 36 okay then in numerals it is only one word but in words it is two words 100000 can be three words when written in words but in numerals it is still one word that is how it is counted counted in standard texts next here are some examples okay on the left hand i have taken examples from the original text and i have on the right hand uh you know other words which can replace the long phrases expressions you know removing redundancy so for example in our time we can write presently have had revealed to us we can say seen you know we have had revealed to us can become we have seen new and wider meaning new meaning is okay you know you lose nothing dominating hours knowledge and concern simply saying dominating us should mean everything within us our knowledge our concern our clothes you know our entire body and our entire mind okay dominating us would mean that so reaching out with menacing power over vast areas of you know i mean this is all right for rhetoric but in prosy we can replace this long expression with a word like threaten okay and there are other expression intimidating you know frightening you can you can see those things and they mean nearly the same thing and you get uh you you, you get rid of you know maybe about eight seven or eight words four plus two plus three nine words actually okay with one word so these are the devices these are the techniques which help you get rid of two thirds of the original words and yet say the same thing in a very coherent manner there are other ways you know go next use one word for many years in our time can be replaced with presently have had revealed to us as i said we can say have a new meaning go on look at other look at other paragraphs and i'm sure you will you know you will be able to find examples that can you know examples of two or more words that can be replaced with one word or maybe one or two words okay uh, in c and d you know we have read try to read you know we following that the principle of c and d you know c and d is you know uh one word for many words removing redundant words we have rewritten that paragraph you know and here it is in the present times they have found a new meaning for jefferson sovereignty principle of the present generation the sovereign present has become the imperial present dominating and threatening our areas of consciousness but let's do another draft let us see how we get rid of more words okay next see here is the second draft from 32 we come down to 25 you know we have removed some more word go back to the earlier draft please look at the earlier draft in the present times they have found a new meaning for jefferson sovereignty principle etc etc the sovereign present has become the imperial present and you know we still have 32 words but here 
we made it short. Jefferson's sovereignty principle for the present generation has seen a new meaning. We made it shorter, using one word for many words, removing redundant words. This has become the imperial present, dominating and threatening our areas of consciousness. But it is still 25 words, and we have to bring it down to 16, which means we have to get rid of eight words, another eight words, without losing meaning. Let us see how we do it. You know, and here we are. Sovereignty of the present has become the imperial present, pervading and menacing entire areas of our consciousness. This is nearly as many as we would like to have and it uses only one third of the original words and we haven't lost anything of the meaning. We are still saying that the present generation is so obsessed with the present that they have allowed their entire consciousness to be dominated by present. Nothing that has gone beyond matters to them. Nothing that is likely to come matters to them. Next. Let us see what we do with lots of illustrations. Look at this passage, you know. To say that, you know, television can, for a television audience, you know, it doesn't matter whether you are in here or there. But in the original passage, we have four cities, three cities have been named. Chicago, Los Angeles, and New York. You know, we can cut it down to two words, here and there. Similarly, we have seen how aeronautics and electronics. We can, we have seen how electronics, we can just say, we have seen how sciences have done. So, one word in place of three words. Look at the next. Here is the final draft, you know, within the required number of words. We have seen how science has rendered distances meaningless. For television audience, it didn't matter whether an event. We have seen how science has rendered distances, distance or distances meaningless. For television audience, it does not matter whether an event happened here or there. The new technology gave them the illusion of ever present. We could also have said, gave them the same illusion. Okay. Now, you know, so thus, through two or three drafts and following some principles of language, you know, that same thing can be said in fewer words, just as in many more words. We can rewrite the sentence such that we say the same things and we say that in fewer words. We can always create a good mercy. Do this activity, as we have been saying, perfection would come to you, not by only listening to your teacher, your advisor, your reviewer, your friend, or your family. Perfection would come to us, to you, to anyone else, only through our own hard work. Do it and good luck.